Hey, what's up, guys? I'm still sick, as you can see. Like, my eyes and my face. Man, I'm looking rough. Man. This, um, this anime, like, I just recently found out about it when I uh, went on this website that has a lot of all, like, it, well, basically every anime that has ever been created and every anime that is is going to be created is on this anime. It's on this anime uh, website that I go on to watch my anime and stuff like One Piece, Naruto, and um, Coco no Basket. But, uh, yeah, man, this anime, like, at first, my first impressions of it, because it's on two episodes of it came out. My first impressions of it was like, oh my god, is this gonna be a lot of fan service, man? Like, listen, I've heard somebody recommended this anime to me. Now, they didn't tell me that they liked it because, now this is my first impression of it. This is what I'm thinking when the anime, like, the first five minutes of the anime, all you see is like some freaking woman with giant fucking like Rongiku. You know what Rongiku, Rongiku off Bleach? Her fucking tits. Just giant, huge fucking tits just like laying out under a freaking umbrella on the top of some roof beside a girl with a sniper rifle. And a lady with giant tits is in a bikini or something. Whatever, man. I'm getting sidetracked. But yeah, man. Uh, my. When I first saw it, I saw her and I was like, please God, do not let this anime be nothing but fan service, man. I'm not going to watch this. Even though I love tits, I like it, but I just cannot sit there and watch just freaking fly. I cannot sit there and watch freaking nothing but tits the whole entire time and just girls doing stupid stuff. Yeah, I can't. I just can't do it, man. Everybody hated when Oda kept freaking had like it was nothing but 10 minutes of Rebecca's tits and Dress Rosa. Oh man, I'm laughing because <laughs> if y'all know for whatever world, man, he went off on that shit, dog. Like that was so funny, but anyway, back to this. Uh, that was my first impressions of this anime, um, this new anime. Then, when the episode kept going, it took a turn. Like, it start, at first, I, I, thought, I thought it was going to start out as like some type of hentai-ish fan service anime, but it turned into like some, some type of good versus evil assassination group. It's like, it's like a modern day a comic got killed. Like a comic got killed is like set in like some like uh, MMO RPG world. This is set in like the real world, and the main character is two main characters really. Well, yeah, it's two main characters: one guy and one girl. The guy is really the main character. I forgot his name. I don't. I, I only watched two episodes. And I think they only say his name like four times. They just talk to him directly. But, and the girl, I forgot her name, but she has like blue hair and stuff. And the guy, he had, he always wears like a red biker's, biker's vest um, or a biker's jacket or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's turned into from like fan service into like this a comic got killed modern day um, assassin group. Like they... It's like this assassin group that destroys evil, but it's not them versus no evil government. It's just them versus like evil organizations within like their city. So they just go around exterminating evil and stuff. And this, like, and it is, is the art and animation is like a comic got killed too. So I don't know if the same uh, a studio made it. I don't know, but it might be because in a coming out kid, you know how you saw like somebody get slashed in half, but you really didn't see them. You really didn't see like all the gore, but you did see them get slashed in half. That's how it is in here. But it's only like one woman that like has a sword and everybody else is using guns or whatever. 
But um, yeah, man, it looks promising. Looks very interesting. The story is very interesting, especially the guy. Like the guy in there, the main character guy. I forgot his name, but he has very deep backstory, man. Like when he was little, reason why he like is in this um oh yeah and the organization organization they're in that is exterminating evil is called black label black label just goes around destroying evil like gangs and uh organizations and stuff like that <laughs> but um yeah he when he was little him and his friend got into a bad accident where like terrorists came in like a bank or something or whatever he said i forgot what he said and blew it up and he protected his friend by uh, jumping in front of his friend and letting the bomb blow up and like it blew all his organs out of him and stuff and his friend sacrificed his life to save his so his friend gave him his organs and stuff so he got all these cuts and junk on his body and stuff <laughs> and he like <clears throat> that fucked him up to where he can kill people and it doesn't affect him but yeah, that was very interesting backstory and stuff. We didn't get no back. That's he the only guy that we got backstory on character development. And the girl, we didn't get no backstory on her. He was the only person. But this looks very promising, man. Like the second episode was just them finishing off the first group they were fighting in the first episode. Like that's all that was. And it's really, it's really no powers in this. Like for real, the way they do it make you think they have powers like a comic got killed, but they don't. Like there's no powers in this at all. It's just very good swordplay by one woman who is apparently a doctor. She's a surgeon. Go figure. And very good gun skill. And that's basically it, man. <sighs> like, tell me y'all, tell me if y'all even seen this joke. Like, do y'all even know about it? If y'all don't know about it, you should check it out. The first, I'm telling you, the first, if you can get past the first five minutes of the very first episode, you enjoy the rest of it. It's really, it's really good, man. It looks promising. I don't know if it has a manga to it. If it does, I'll let you know. If it doesn't, I'll still let you know. But like this video, if you like this video, dislike it, you didn't. I don't give a fuck, man. Just let me know somebody watching this shit. And subscribe if you already have it, man. It's fucking free. Why haven't you subscribed already? You watch every single one of my videos. Just go ahead and subscribe and just keep up to date. It helps me out and it helps you out. But it helps you out in the long run because you're getting entertained. So, alright, man. I'm out. Let me know, dog. Peace. That's a closet!